This is our speed torque curve from before with our speed axis and our torque axis. We could also plot the output power of the motor. So let me draw a third axis here, call it P sub out. And we know the output power is just equal to the torque times the angular velocity. So if we plot the, the output power here as a function of the torque, it looks something like this. a parabola, it's not perfectly drawn, um, that has a maximum here at one half tau stall. And that maximum also corresponds to one half the no load speed. So the maximum output power that we can get out of our motor is if we multiply those two together, is one quarter tau stall times omega naught. So that's the maximum output power we can get from our motor. Oftentimes it's in the intermittent operating region, so we can't always operate at that point. Um, and in addition, we can think about the efficiency of the motor. And the efficiency is defined as the output power over the input power. And usually we express it in percentages. So we can see that the efficiency here, for example, is zero because the output power is zero. Um, the efficiency changes a lot depending on where we're operating on the speed torque curve here. As we saw at zero out here, and it's a little bit complicated. It depends on how much friction there is in the motor. But generally, you're going to see higher efficiency of the motor at low torques and high speeds.